sit. Training your cat tricks, it's not only going to turn your cat into a star every time someone steps into your home, it's also going to take your bond and communication with your cat to levels you never thought were possible. With a clicker, training our cat becomes easier because it helps us mark the exact moment where our cat does the behavior we want them to repeat. Not all tricks are created equal, so before you start teaching your cat tricks that you saw on TikTok or Instagram that are extremely cool, I highly encourage you that you go for those that are going to change your cat life first. I really believe that before you teach any cool trick, you should teach your cat come when cold and finger targeting. I will add the links to those tutorials in the description box down below so you can watch those videos after you finish this one. In the case that your cat already knows those tricks, awesome! In the case that they don't, don't worry. Every trick in this video is very easy and you're going to be able to teach it from scratch. In today's video I want to teach you 5 tricks that are somewhat useful but they're especially cool and easy to teach. Sit down, sit pretty, stay and spin. If you're a new cat mom or a new cat dad or even if you've had a cat for a while and you're looking for a fresh start, consider subscribing. I'm going to be uploading new tips and tricks on a weekly basis to help you do more with your cat. Clicker training is a form of operant conditioning. It leverages the fact that behaviors that are rewarded are more likely to be repeated. The clicker is going to tell our cat what behaviors are going to give them treats. There are three things we're going to need for this tutorial. A clicker, some treats and a cat. In the case that you don't know what clicker training is or you want to go back to the basics, I have a video tutorial explaining what clicker training is as well as how to achieve clicker training with your cat in 3 easy steps. Once again, I'm going to be adding the link in the description box down below so you can check it out if you want. I think the introduction is done, so let's get into it! Sit is a simple yet super useful trick you want to teach your cat. I use it with me all the time when I want to keep her still, to put the harness on and off, or when I don't want her roaming around when we're outdoors. We're going to have the treat on our right hand and the clicker on the left hand. If you're a lefty, you can do it the other way around. We're going to hold the treat between our thumb and our middle finger. With our index finger pointing up, we're going to hover the treat over our sit. cat's head. At some point, our cat is going to sit to try to reach the treat with their mouth. As soon as their butt touches the floor, click, then reward. You have to repeat this process 5 to 10 times. No. Sit. Once our cat understands the behavior, we can remove the treat from our right hand, but we're going to keep doing the same gesture. If our cat doesn't react without the treat, this means that they still haven't understood the movement. Do it 5 to 10 times more and try again without the treat. Once our cat reacts quickly to the gesture without the treat, it's time to add the verbal command. Sit. Good girl. After several days using both the physical command as well as the verbal command, our cat is going to understand the verbal command on its own. And we can try to get them to do it without the physical command. Down it's not a useful trick per se, but it's the very first step towards other tricks like roll over or play dead. Before teaching the down command, our cat has to master sit. Sit. Down. Good girl. From the sitting position, you're going to get a tree and hide it under your fingers. When your cat tries to reach it, they're going to touch with their belly on the floor. At that time, you click, then reward. Down. At some point, your cat is going to react almost instantly to the gesture. When that happens, means that your cat has mastered the trick. Then, it's the right moment to remove the trick from underneath your fingers. Sit. 
Da. Again, if our cat struggles without the treat, just add again the treat. There's no problem with that. The stay command, it's a game changer for every cat owner. It will help you serve food without being disturbed. Stay. No? Stay. Good girl! Or take amazing pictures of your cat while it's on a rock and you need a couple of seconds to frame that shot. Your cat needs to know the sit command. We're going to do the stay command and reward them for apparently no reason. Because the objective of this treat actually is rewarding them for doing nothing. Sit. Stay. Good girl. We're going to do the stay command again and we're going to walk a step back. Stay. Good girl. If while walking that step back our cat doesn't move, we click, then reward. In the case that our cat moves, we're going to place them back in the spot and do it again. Good girl! The objective is to keep doing stay and walking farther and farther every time, increasing our standard stay until we decide to reward them. Good girl! <laughs> Sit pretty is the very first cute trick I want you to teach your cat. Before teaching this trick, your cat needs to know how to sit first. From the sitting position, we're going to take one treat and place it between our annular finger and our middle finger. With this setting, we're going to hover it over their head, out of their reach. I highly recommend you trimming your cat's nails when teaching this treat. Two things can happen now. That your cat tries to reach the treat with their paws. No. Or that your cat stands up, lifting both front legs, trying to reach the treat with their head. Good girl. As soon as the front legs leave the floor, click, then reward. Once your cat has interiorized the behavior and knows that this means up, you can remove the treat from between your fingers and do the gesture on its own. If your cat doesn't understand the gesture on its own, place back again the treat, there's no problem with that. And keep practicing with the treat between your fingers. Okay, let's teach spin now, the most useless trick of them all. To teach the spin, we're going to lure our cat using a treat. Spin. Yeah. We're going to start with the treat on our right hand and doing the full circle with our right hand. Yeah. Once our cat masters the full circle with our right hand, we're going to place the treat on the other hand. And we're going to do half circle without anything and we're going to lure them over at the end of the spin with the treat in the other hand. We might have to start luring them farther up at the beginning, but you will see that very early on, they're going to start following the right hand even if there's no tree. Once the behavior is established, you can keep on doing the circle with your right hand and clicking as soon as your cat is facing towards you. Good girl. Little by little, you're going to want to have this big circle becoming smaller and smaller until it can become just a gesture.
Today's video has been a little different from other videos I've done before. But trust me, despite some of these tricks might seem useless, it's really going to improve the communication between you and your cat as well as your bond. If you found this video interesting, informative, enriching in any way, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me reach more people by telling them that this video might be worth watching. I'm super excited about the video that I'm working for next week, so subscribe and click the bell button if you want YouTube to notify you when the next video is up. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you soon.